Have you guys ever delitted processes? Another stream demoed a delitted 7600X and without changing anything, it ran a full 20 degrees cooler. So that would have been a Debauer, I believe. I haven't watched the video, but uh, I have heard about it. So apologies, Debauer. I'll get onto that soon. Uh, something to try, maybe. So yeah, we have, uh, I've used some of Debauer's tools before to delid, though I haven't done it for a while. We did a video on the 7700K. I know that's getting on now, um, but delitting since probably that generation got a little bit more sketchy, a little more difficult and more sort of in the diminishing returns category. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to delete AM5. I imagine you want to uh, take a lot of care and it is quite difficult, but again, I haven't got to Debauer's video yet, so I don't know uh, what he went through to do that. I know Debauer doesn't mind killing CPUs, so yeah. Uh, but it could be something, uh, like if Debauer comes out with a, a tool to do it, um, and that, that could be interesting to look at, see how difficult that is and whether you should do it. But yeah, I, I've heard that he saw a 20 degree drop um, without changing anything else. Um, so that's certainly substantial and, and could be worth looking at if it's not, if it's not one of the uh, more, if it's not a sort of mission impossible type move to do it. Yeah, well, I think with AM4 or AM5 CPUs, mm -hmm. these Zen 4 CPUs, I should have said, um, you know, the operating temperature that they run at, as you mentioned in your reviews, is designed to be run at. Mm -hmm. So 95 degrees sounds hot. It's meant to run at 95 degrees. I guess the you have to weigh up with deleting. You know, what's the what benefit are you going to get? Does that mean you can run a cheaper cooler on there? Because you know, instead of having to spend heaps of money to run at ninety five degrees with no performance limits, maybe you are running into performance limits. Mm -hmm. In which case, you delit it. You can use your same cooler. I mean, you probably won't be able to because the mounting isn't going to work anymore. But should do. But I think I think the main reason you would delit the CPU is because you want to push it further. Yes. So it's not to save it by running cooler because I imagine the risks involved with deleting, voiding your warranty, it, it'd be end up probably cheaper in the long run just to buy another CPU. But I, yes. I, there is yep. no evidence to suggest that the 95 degree temperature will kill CPUs, despite what you may have heard by s some passionate people in the comments there. That is completely unfounded. AMD says they'll work 24 seven um, at those temperatures. And this isn't new for CPUs, right? You'd be very familiar with high operating temperatures <laughs> for CPUs for sustained periods of time. Yeah, on laptops for mm -hmm. sure. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a tangent, but I, I get frustrated at people looking at the raw temperature number and saying that something runs hot. Whereas for me, what's caused something to run hot is the power output in its wattage. That causes many more issues there's, in terms of there's like... There's questions specifically about this, so I don't want to get yeah. too into right. it we'll here. Leave, we'll leave that we'll, for we'll that one. We'll stick to the but, uh, because, yeah, we have a lot to say on that, so we'll yeah. save that for the, for we'll the questions that, that, one, that but, ask about it. But right. yes, I think we agree with yeah. that. Um, but yeah, the 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 deleting thing, certainly something we could look at, uh, but it's not really... It's something... Like, yeah, it seems like an overclocking type thing. Like It's the, definitely an overclocking an type over, thing. Yeah, it's like... Most users are probably not going to be deleting their CPU, yeah. which is, you know, we we dabble in, we have dabbled in that content from uh, time to time in the past um, when it's made sense, but generally it's not something uh, we get that into. Um, you're better yeah. off looking at, you know, the overclocking guys, Debauer being one. Uh, there's Buildzoid. Uh, Gamers Nexus gets into that probably more than we do. They like the LN2 stuff and that having a play with that. That's always entertaining. Yeah. But anyway, probably enough on that one. So we'll move on to the next cool. question. 